to lighten up. That latex is already starting to cure. Now the the less latex you put on there, obviously the faster it's going to cure because it's water based and the cure time is solely uh, reflecting upon the time it takes for the water to evaporate out of it. Now while we're looking at this helmet you'll see some of the stuff that didn't get detailed like the visor. Didn't see a point in detailing the visor because I'm going to cut it out. Since I have a mold of this now, I can pour just a visor, detail just that visor, and then I can use that visor to make see-through visors with a vacuum form table. Uh, I have started building one. I don't have one up and running yet because I don't have a strong enough vacuum. But I'm sure many of the members that have that form tables, like Link and Sean, uh, I think Rube also has a VAT form table. If you send them your ODST visor for a very small fee, because all the guys are really accommodating on that, they will heat shrink you or vacuum form you an ODST visor that fits directly in yours. Now, it's not a big problem for most of us because most of us have a head that's about the size of uh, Sean and Rube and Link's helmet. I know I order my, my visors from Link right now. Um, and they fit, even though his helmet base is smaller than my adult uh, Dutch because he puts an area around the visor you can actually trim it and it fits in my helmets I could probably just order one of his visors for this particular helmet and just trim it down I may end up doing that just so that I can have them ready for Halloween so Link if you're out there I might be ordering another 10 or 12 visors from you in the future I'm sure he's sitting there cussing at me right now because I've already ordered 10 or 12 from him. So when I make helmets, I make them. I usually try and make them in 10 runs for a number of reasons, but right now, especially because Halloween is coming up, and we're going to be trick or treating in the mall this year, and there's not going to be many people that uh, have cooler costumes than a Halo 3 ODST there might be one or two and so to combat that I know you're you're sitting there like combat that jeez it's Halloween Ben get over yourself uh, no Halloween is the best holiday ever so we go all out down here in Texas and we have several malls that do trick-or-treat in the mall. Uh, I've got several people together since I obviously have the ODST suit done molded. Uh, I'm going to be molding up some flex foam suits for a bunch of my friends to wear. And we are all going to the mall as ODSTs. So one of the reasons why I'm making my daughter a helmet. She wants to go as an ODST as well. So, take your brush, just stick it straight in the water. Don't worry about cleaning it because you're going to end up using that latex later on. Remember to obviously cap off your material. Put 
put it back. I've already got my hash mark down here for this one. Uh, one of the other things you can see is I am working on trash bags, just because I like to keep the area clean. I'll go ahead and rotate that around so you can see. I know it looks see-through. It's actually not. That's just the latex is curing. Now in between layers, you're gonna read on your mold builder, your mold builder container. It says to wait at least one hour between container, uh, between layers. Wrong. I know it says one hour, and one hour is usually enough for some smaller uh, things. But when you're putting it on a helmet like this even your thin layer goes on a little thick you need to wait at least two hours in between layers that's one of the reasons why it takes about five days to put on a mold because ideally if you worked 24 hours around the clock you'd get 12 layers a day and yes you could do that in two days but it's not gonna happen I know it's not gonna happen you know it's not gonna happen you're probably going to end up with max about six layers a day. Probably even less than that. Um, so, let this sit for two hours. When we come back, I'll let you see what it looks like. And we'll start putting on the second layer. Um, I'm probably not going to film putting on the second layer. But, I don't know. I'm a nerd for films. Uh, sorry these are really long. And I'll see you in about two hours.